everyone, welcome back to round two of the Valley Gaming Flames of War Championships. We have a top of the table clash with uh, Tom and his Panzer Three Company against Jimmy and his British Rifle Company. So let's go straight into looking at the table and what the mission is. Okay everyone, we have deployment. Now if you want to see the lists being used today, um, please look at the introduction for the campaign. Uh, I'll put a little tag thing that will pop up somewhere on the screen and you can click that and it'll take you to that. It's only a few minutes to watch. But today we have the uh, top of the leaderboard clash. We have Jimmy and we have Tom. Jimmy is the British and Tom as the Africa Corps. So Jimmy has gone defend and Tom has gone manoeuvre, so we've ended up with no retreat. So in ambush for the British, we have a unit of six pounders, and in reserve, we have a platoon of infantry, some mortars, three grants, and three honey stewards. So on the table, we have right in the centre of the frame, we have second platoon. We then have first platoon, and straddling between both of them, we have the HQ. Right behind here, we have the 25 pounders, and then we have another unit of six pounders. And right over here, we have a honey OP staying out of the way. And as you can see here, one objective, two objective. And then for minefields, one here, two here, and then one by there. So now for the Africa Corps, we have both platoons of Panzer III. So there's a unit of four and a unit of three here. Right behind them is the Marders. We then have the Germans, 25, uh, captured 25 pounders over here. And then on this side here, we have the Panzer IIs, the Panzer III HQs, and the Africa Rifle Platoon. So, of course, the attackers will be going first, so I'll be the Africa Corps. But we do have immediate reserves, so Jimmy will have a uh, first chance to get his reserves on. But they will be coming from back here. But that's not too bad. So, here we go into Africa Corps, turn one. Okay, first turn movement for the Germans. We have the Panzer IIs and the HQ and infantry going around here and the anti-tank guns going into the mine. Uh, this ranger marker has been moved here by Jimmy because he's got artillery experts and then the other range marker got moved to here for diversionary tactics. And then over here we have the Marders and the three platoon going here and then these guys moving forward with a failed follow me. So now we're going into German shooting which the only thing there is to shoot is the captured 25 pounders. Okay, so uh, Tom ranged in first attempt here, uh, basically catching first platoon and the HQ. Uh, no hit on the HQ and uh, two hits on this platoon, but luckily no casualties. And that's it, so now we go into British turn one. Okay, British turn one, uh, you have a rally test uh, with a reroll, so you can roll both dice at the same time if you wanted. Uh, they rally on a four, which they do. Uh, and are you going to bring in your ambush? Yes. Ambush is coming in, and then one dice for reserves needing a five plus. Nope, a two is rolled. So we're going into British movement. Okay, so we've had our first bit of controversy um, in this championship. So I sent aerial photos of this table to Tom, and for some reason, well, it's, it's quite obvious. He thought this was flat sand and not a dune, so we went back and changed it, because otherwise Jimmy's ambush will go up there and blat those Panzer threes, because we were expecting a smoke barrage. So there we go, but as you can see, the further up you go, the more it looks like those soft sand bases but it's actually a dune. So, you've changed that. Jimmy's deliberating. deliberating, but we will allow him to not put it, deploy his ambush if he doesn't want to in the change in circumstances. So there we go. They dashed there, and then obviously there was that follow me that was failed anyway, so we got to there. So there we go. Okay, so uh, the six pounders have popped up by here. And that's it, so now we go into British shooting, so uh, we'll just do a recap, because uh, we'll see Jimmy's dice, we just won't see, we just won't hear all the sixes, uh, see the sixes at Tom's roll. So uh, we'll uh, do that and see what happens. Okay, British started with some artillery, got a bunch of hits on the Panzer twos but no kills, uh, a hit on the infantry but no kill, but they are now pinned. 
Um, the six pounders had to split the shots because uh, limited fields of fire. So two hits connected with the Panzer threes here, resulting in a double bail, but he was okay. And then the Marders were a eligible target, but they were all missed. So going into uh, German uh, turn two, uh, we have two motivations, Tom. We have a remount on the Panzer threes. And a rally test with a re-roll on the Africa Corps rifles. Yeah, good. A five and a five. Uh, there you go. Okay, so we're cracking on with German movement. Okay, German movement. The pincers are closing in. Uh, the German infantry dashed along here, staying outside, of course, the eight inches. Uh, the Panzer II's, however, did a tactical with a follow me, so they're within assault range. Uh, maybe one of the teams, maybe two, we'll check. And the uh, Panzer III HQs have done a follow me just to basically encourage these Panzer IIs. These Panzer threes when uh, can assault this team here. Marders are taking a position behind the dunes so they can't be seen. And the other Panzer threes are sweeping down over this dune hopefully to clear away the British infantry. But they do have the mighty boys anti-tank rifle. So we will see. We will see. So we'll go into German shooting first. Okay, German shooting started off with the smoke barrage, of course. Uh, this unit then pumped their MGs into this platoon and pinned them with five hits, no casualties, and then the platoon on the hill only got one hit. And that is it. So now we have assaults. So we'll, have, we'll see which one goes first and we'll have a recap to see what damage, but these British do know how to fight. Okay, so the assault started up on the hill. Um, they made into contact the boys uh, anti-tank rifle connected with a hit uh, but it was bounced and two infantry teams uh, were killed but then Jimmy just chose to break off and these four guys are now lo no longer in foxholes and then the Panzer II's assaulted lost one guy to a boys anti-tank rifle I've never seen this for uh, I don't think I've ever seen it and then these guys managed to kill the team they were in contact with the infantry counter-attacked got two hits got no kills but then these guys failed their counter-attack even with a re-roll so then Jimmy brought these guys back into their foxholes and then this guy here who was within four of these broke off so no more assaults for the Germans and that is it so now we go into British turn two uh, British turn two you have two rally rolls to make so you've got a f first platoon and they still get their re-roll they pass and then second platoon who have a re-roll they pass, double pass. You wasted two sixes think, there. Yeah. And then you got two dice for reserves. One. One guy's coming in. What are you going to be bringing in? Let me think. Okay, right. We'll get back to you in British turn two movement. Okay, British movement. Um, third platoon is coming on. Uh, they did try to do a follow me, but the unit leader is the only one who wants to go uh, forwards. And the... Second platoon who were not dug in are now dug in and first platoon are not attempting to dig in because there's only one guy left. But you'll see. I'm not moving them, am I? Hmm? I'm not moving them, so I might as well try. Yeah, it's only the one oh so you are gonna try to dig him in. Okay, go on. Go on. They do. So everyone's dug in. And that's it. So now we're going to British shooting. British shooting, 25 pounders uh, fired over open sights onto the uh, Panzer threes on the ridge, missed. And then the guy here in the town managed to score, just, just the one guy firing uh, from the Desert Killer guys, got a hit on an F armored Panzer three and got a kill. Uh, these infantry teams then opened fire, here again four hits, but killing two infantry teams, so that is it. So going into uh, Tom's turn three, the smoke clears, and... No motivations to do, Tom. Right. So we go straight into your movement. Okay, so the armoured fist of Tom is again ready to launch. Uh, the HQ is combining with uh, this platoon here, ready to assault. This platoon is moving here, not going near the town because of defensive fire from the anti-tank guns. And the Marders have done a blitz move up onto the dune. And the Africa rifles are doing a dash towards the palms here with the anti-tank rifle uh, being dragged along by his crew, frantically trying to keep up. And that's it. So now we go into German shooting. 
Okay, German shooting. Uh, the MGs have managed to pin down this platoon. 25 pounders ranged in here, killed a 25 pounder and the unit leader from the third platoon. The Marders picked off the other one. And over here, these guys can't really use their machine guns again and again. One hit on this platoon. And that's it. This guy, Panzer II, managed to have a, did have a cheeky shot at the 25 pounder, but it only hit the gun shield. Um, so bounced off. And that is it. So now we're going to assaults again with the German armour, but the boys under tank rifles are still in the fight. <laughs> and the Marders failed their shooting scoot as well, so they're not going back. Okay, so the assaults went very well for the Germans. They're just going in, they, even if the British are counter-attacking, they're getting hits, they're just not killing anything. The armour's too thick. The boys under tank rifle again got a hit over here though, but this time it just bounced off. So the British are slowly getting pushed back, but to their defensive gun line, so the guns are going to get involved at some point. But basically, all but the 2IC of the HQ and a mortar team from 2nd Platoon are currently at war, dug in for the infantry. So that is it. So now we're going to British Turn 3. British Turn 3, we have lots of pinned down infantry. Jimmy, where do you want to start again? Is it... Uh, right, 3rd Platoon. Do not rally. The 25 pounders will get a reroll. They fail. Fail are oh, one and the two. Um, first platoon. Does not rally. <laughs> HQ. Does not rally. The HQ themselves. They rally. And then you got second platoon. But get a reroll. Um, no, they're too far away, sorry. So. Wow, wow that's a lot of. Pinned infantry, apart from the HQ. <laughs> okay, and then you get three dice for reserves. You get one, because you failed all three. That is not great rolling, but it happens, doesn't it? So. What are you going to bring in? You can decide that, but you still get to dig your guys in, and you do have lots and lots and lots of six pounders, and the twenty-five pounders still have a shot each. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So we're going to British movement. Uh, British movement. The Honey OP has done a cross check into the Palms to engage the Africa rifles. Um, of all the units, uh, four units trying to dig in. Only first platoon managed to dig, it, dig in, so everyone's going to ground. And a unit of grants have come in and have dashed to hide behind the buildings because there's an awful lot of guns here now. So now we're going to British shooting, where they've got their six pounders and their 25s, but the 25 pounders are pinned. Uh, so basically with the 25 pounders and six pounders, all they've been able to do is bail a marder and bail two pounds of threes here. So that is uh, rotten firepower rolls, that is unfortunately. So now Tom, going into your motivation for turn four, you have your uh, pounds of three platoon, you've got your up armoured unit leader trying to get back in. And the other guy. The other guy rolls a three. And the Marder. Uh, the Marder rolls a two. And that is it. That is it for your motivation. So we go into German turn four movement. Oh, the um, OP here missed all his shots onto the Africa rifles, unfortunately. So that is it. So now we go into German turn four. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have German movement. Again, they're just pushing up. Uh, the infantry pushing in as well. These guys though are remaining still because they're within short range of this 25 pounder and the Panzer twos are now within short range of this uh, 25 pounder. So now we go into German shooting after our debacle with tape measures at a different lengths. So there we go into German shooting. German shooting has been coldly efficient shall we say. Um, the Panzer threes and Africa rifles polished off the 25 pounders. Uh, the Panzer twos did join in but didn't do anything. Um, the Panzer threes managed to kill the HQ who wasn't dug in. Uh, the Marders managed to kill one of the guys who weren't dig dug in here. And the 25 pounders ranged in here and pinned one of the six pounders. And that is it. So there has been fair few assaults this game and there'll be another one this turn. 
but with uh, one less tank because the HQ is dead now. So there'll be another assault from the Germans, so we'll see what happens. But the boys' anti tank rifle is still alive. So again, another two and throw fight in combat again. British getting plenty of hits, but just just the one bail. But then in the end, the British broke off. Two twos rolled on the counter attack. So we have this platoon, his last standing, and this one, and the HQ is just back here. So we're going into British turn four, and if these guys do not rally, uh, that is pretty much game. Um, so we will do that now. So what are we going to rally first? Okay, starting with them. So uh, the platoon. So first platoon. Uh, yeah, they get a reroll. So um, do they rally first? They do. The HQ itself uh, does not rally. Um, they will get a reroll now, though. They rally. Um, second platoon does rally, and then six pounders. They rally. And then you've got some last stands to make. So first platoon. Runs. So this is HQ. Uh, no, HQ doesn't last stand, but the uh, second platoon does. Uh, they stay, and then you have four dice for reserves. And you get one more. And that is it. So, oh no, you can't. That's game. The HQ, did, they didn't rally, did they? Or did they? Did they? You're going to have to go back now. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and look at the recording. Okay, movement. Honeys are on. Grants are moving round. Unit leader from Sir Platoon has moved up so he can get some shenanigans done with his assault. But the other guys, again, are not keen. If they'd passed their follow me's earlier on, that one time, they'd be a bit better off. And if they pass it this time, they'd be better off. But that is it. So now we're going to British shooting. And Jimmy needs to get some kills on the board. Because uh, we don't want Tom getting that Panzer three objective. So, here we go. So, British shooting um, can be summarised as an own goal. Yeah. Because the Grants fired, got two hits. But then Tom being a little blighter, put it on the guy he could assault and funny enough that was the only one he actually managed to kill with Grant's honeys, six pounders, uh, so yeah, so he's dead, he's bailed and we go into German turn five. Um, so Tom you have a remount on a Panzer three with a reroll because the HQ is still there. And then uh, one on the Marder. It passes as well on the Marder. And again, this Honey OP missed with his MGs onto these guys. So again, we're going into German turn five. And basically, this turn, they need to kill this guy here. So that's what they'll be trying to do. And if they do, it's game. So German movement is just this, uh, they move to shoot and also to assault because assault is the assured way of really getting rid of him, so, uh, well, let's see what happens. Uh, so basically he survived a fusillade from the Panzer II, because remember it does get spread onto the rest of the platoon, uh, but then the Panzer III platoon got him, unfortunately, so that will be a stunning uh, victory to Tom, so we can't, no one can actually catch him now, so he will be getting the Panzer three objective, but we do have other games to play, because uh, I'll probably put together a wooden spoon, which I don't want to win, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so that is it, so um, Tom, do you have a man of the match, or someone who did more than anyone else? And they all did. Uh, against the guys that actually polished the, the last infantry to take off. Yeah, that's fair. They, they did pretty good. And Jimmy? The, the HQ for killing that one tank in an assault. He didn't kill him. Wait. He bailed him. Yeah. Just did not. <laughs> like, nobody else did anything. So you're saying the guy who almost got a kill is... Yeah. You, you did get kills. You... One, two, three. 
I, I like the fact though the that I did a better job with my <laughs> Italians. Just not in terms of margin of victory, but in terms of how many kills I got. But yeah, that was a rough day. Um, but again, Tom showcasing his experience and ruthlessness as uh, the Germans. But um, as an experienced player, Tom, would you have done anything different or? Jimmy, any yeah. advice for Jimmy? Right. I shouldn't have, so, don't think I should have popped right, these Jimmy, for you. Right, so if I was in your position, I'd have swapped the position of the 25 pounders with the 6 pounders, and that's for two reasons, because they've got turntables, so if you're worried about people outflanking your position, then they don't suffer movement penalties. Um, and plus being in amongst the buildings makes it difficult yeah. for counter artillery. So, mm, yeah. um, and then the six pounder platoon, I would have definitely deployed them within eight of your infantry line. Um, because you left your infantry isolated, so I could just launch assaults. I must have launched two or three assaults before I had to worry about being in amongst your anti tank guns. Um, and I guess the other thing is is it your second platoon that wasn't near the objective? Yeah, because I pushed them up to force you to have to push through them. So as you were pushing yeah. back, you were just pushing me towards well, my own objective. With, with the placement of your mines, I mean, I would have put them a bit differently. I would have put one on each flank to stop me just floating around the edges uh, quite so freely. But where you put your minefield, I would have deployed one infantry platoon. You know where my Panzer threes are on the hill? I would have deployed them across that hill and uh, right up until the table edge so I couldn't flank round. And so you're forcing me into a gunnel where I'm under pressure to kill these six pounders near your infantry line before your tanks come up. And that means my artillery has to concentrate on trying to kill them, which it might do, but you've got three foot save, your feelers, your HQs nearby, and then that infantry on the hill, but if they get assaulted, so what, the, the fall back into the town, I'm not going anywhere near that, am I? Um, and plus, you know, if you really get concerned, you can spring your ambush there, but I would have kept your ambush for a little bit later, uh, maybe deployed it in the pound rows on the other side of the table. Um, mm. So, I think, you just left too many gaps for me to run a run through, um, and you didn't integrate your anti-tank guns well enough within your infantry line. Because when when you ambushed your six pounders on the right hand side, I was like, oh, that's that's the best place I could wish for because I'm going after the left objective. I could just run away from there. Yeah, I suppose um, they could have gone mm. by there because of the um, terrain, but then it would have been down to your dice as well. But no, yeah, it, it, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a learning curve, but as, as I said, you can see the, the gulf with the more experience you have in a game, you just know what you can do, you know, apart from Tom not realising I was a dune in the first turn, which... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a critical error on my part, but I'm just like, I thought it was Tom's hand, like, what the hell? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's almost the same size as those... Um, those pieces as well, but yeah, that was. Uh... Oh no, it's actually, it's actually not the same size as one of them. So, the, the one thing from this edition, and I don't, I presume you have a 